Alrighty, guys. It is Monday, <coughs> 28th of March. Gonna be tackling Rorvik by Ellipse. Looks really cool. Looks like there's gonna be grass and a normal track, which is always exciting. Always a big fan of that. Let me just. My friends or my team speak, and I don't want them interrupting me. See you soon. There we go. All right. Let's see what this has in store. Uh, the tab out and tab back in to get my controls there. Okay. We go downhill super fast, then we enter the grass. See yeah, how it goes. Oh, this is cool. Uh, I'm sure it's fine if we cut that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right, let's get this going. Okay. Starts pretty good. Why is my car turn? Why is my car turn like that? Actually, I think the intention is to do that. It's mostly a grass map. Oh boy. Overhill? Yeah, an overhill, and then another overhill. This is some really high speed grass. Oh, I have to overhill. Okay, not that intensely, though. Okay. Is that the finish? Nope. Double respawn. Oh. I didn't get to the ferry this time? What? The risky finish, like... It shouldn't be time-based. Why does my car turn like that? It's... Definitely gonna be some grass speed slides that we need to do in this track. Okay, let's just continue. Very high speed map. Very cool though. Also, these some of these trees didn't the, the textures didn't fully load in because um I don't think they're supposed to be gray like that. Don't like that my car turns like that. Okay. Over hill. Over hill again. This one's a lot smoother though. Sort of an overhill. Okay, like, how do I make the ferry? Oh, I just jump for it. Okay. Seems easy. There's probably a way to speed slide the end. I'm just not doing it right. Can't rotate like that. 
don't know if you want to go high or low on that grass over, like, turnover thing. Okay, I need to turn harder there. I'm trying to be smooth, but it's not working. One time my nose down. Almost hit the tree, almost hit the tree. Slides going. Oh boy. That's how you get a speed slide. Oh my god, that was close. That end was really close. Oh my god. I'm gonna make a note to myself that I actually include that replay. Actually want to see a replay of how close that was and I will show it to you guys as well sometimes my car goes in the direction I want it to and other times it doesn't That was a great section. It was definitely not. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get some improvement, because obviously there's some improvement that I need to get. Really just the optimizing grass speed slides and my line, I think, are the main ones. Okay, maybe don't jump that high. Be smooth. Okay. Ah, okay, and I'm just off. I'm not looking where I'm going, and maybe I should. Great start. Nice. Okay, we can't go too wide there. We've got to be careful about that. grass and I can tell that I didn't jump as far as I wanted to. Okay. Dive deep into this turn. Let's not get a huge jump this time and maybe I'll actually... Oh my god, that was close. Oh no! Okay, well, you know, I tried. I have to carefully get up that wall while trying to maintain a speed slide and also not flying off. It's a little tricky. No 
jump, or not a crazy jump. Well, speed slide out of this. Oh boy. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, we went over a little bit. This is very fun. I really like this map. Very big fan of high speed grass. I guess it's a full speed grass. I'm not trying to s say it's something else, it's most certainly full speed grass. I need to stop doing that. I'm entering into that grass section with way too much. I'm, I, I'm trying to ascend the grass section with way more speed than I need. I don't need to be careful. slide here. Ooh, okay, I was a little too overzealous about the speed slide there. Okay, good good one. Good one me. Start. Continue it. Get myself a kick to the left. Get myself on the inside of this corner. Go whizzing by the white trees. Oh, and I was. I didn't stop myself from like sliding down the hill, basically. A lot of this track, I can use my like smoother steering buttons because I'm I'm trying to speed slide as much as possible. Nice 404 improvement improvement not found. I'm like really bad at doing the speed slide that comes right at the end. section could have been better maybe but not worried about it too much okay I didn't speed slide the whole thing but it's pretty good improvement wow I lost point two because I 51 exactly oh my god there was so much I wanted to say and then I looked at my time and it's 51 zero 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 that's amazing. It's amazing and it's unfortunate that I can definitely do at least 0.2 better. Because I lost 0.2. A whole 0.2 seconds just from my end. Pretty insane.
right? I clipped a little bit of the penalty grass on the uphill to the on the on the quarter pipe up to the turnover thing, and you can see that I lost a lot of speed. Okay, sure. I do want to get some practice in for the end, so I'm not going to call this run in the end. Okay, let's... Let's stop barely clipping the, uh, the final jump. Now, to be fair, I did make up 0.2 on myself at the end there, so I did do a good end that time. Just can I execute that in a run where I'm ahead? Or at least equal. Full speed. I may need to. I may need to turn off my ghost. Just so I have visibility of my skid marks. It's the most important thing whenever it comes to full speed. At least for me. I know it can be. I knew you can get good enough at it that it becomes a rhythm, and I would have to practice more full speed to get it to that point, but I'm not there right now. I'm starting to be able to feel out, you know, what a good speed, like a good speed drift without looking, so. I will say that I'm probably better at speed drifting on grass based on what I'm experiencing in this. Just from this map, I can kind of tell that I'm better at, full, at, at speed drifting on grass. Can I like get these trees to have textures? I'd really like it if the trees had textures. Hopefully the textures will find themselves whenever I actually render the replay for this map. It's a good section. Ooh, and I clipped the penalty grass. It's not good. Loses a bit of time. Speed. Just don't fly off. Almost flew off. Okay, I was concerned that I missed that checkpoint, but I did get the checkpoint even though I went to the right of the pole. Unfortunately, going to the right of the pole had other consequences other than me missing the checkpoint. Or other than the possibility of me missing the checkpoint. I did miss the checkpoint. Also, the possibility of me flying into a, the next dimension. That, right before that, um, that, like, turnover thing, I try to get myself into a speed drift to get a little bit more speed. I kind of have to, like, overcommit the, the turn beforehand. Like, overcommit to here, then straighten it out for a speed drift. It can sometimes go well, and sometimes it does not. God, <laughs> I didn't get the checkpoint that time. That final speed drift is actually pretty hard. I 
It feels tighter than maybe normal. It feels like I have to kind of overextend the, the speed drift for a bit before I am actually good. I don't know. Actually, here's a better explanation of what it feels like. It feels like I'm too fast when I enter that speed drift and then I have to slow down a little bit to get into like the perfect speed drift line. But I think that's because I'm not seeing the, the optimal approach and not because I'm too fast. There's point four. Very exciting, very exciting. Very, very fun map. I really like it. Definitely inspires me to make some sort of grass full speed myself. This is super cool. I don't want to get the little double hump there. Let's watch the GPS. Watch the GPS just to see. 49.8? Okay. This is like 0.5 that I've not made. We oh, clips really hard. Okay, that makes sense. Let me check. I guess this will give me an indication of like good speed drift angles. Like here's, there's definitely probably going to be some sort of speed drift. Ooh, really low angle. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a little more aggressive, and I think that might be the reason. Okay, okay. I see it now. I think I can do it. Can I do it in six minutes? That's another story, but I think I got it. I sometimes forget that uh, at higher speeds, your speed drift angle needs to be, or your your like the overlap of your skid marks on in a speed drift needs to be more than half. I'm flying off to. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get the improvement that I want, but I'm going to have fun doing it, or at least trying, I mean. know what the angle is for speed sliding, I can just do it. Oh, and I'm coming in uh, from uh, the other thing I learned from Dan there is he, he, he comes in way lower than I do on that section. I'm going to try and emulate that if I can.
Okay, I didn't mean to give myself such a flick. Okay, and then I need like very... There's like a speed limit. Or there's like a speed minimum that I need to get like a very smooth transition if I'm really close to the right there. Oh, this is not going to be that close to the right, so I don't have to worry about that speed requirement. Okay, this is not great because I clipped there, but this is practice. The practice run 26 or something minutes into the video. Considering how much I can catch up just from like this section. So I have a better idea of what angle I need to be at for this. Like, look at how much. Oh, that's an improvement of five thousandths just because I actually knew what I was doing at the end there. Think, think what would happen if I actually had a good run up until that point. Don't clip there, and I've got like a free head start, basically. Also, I didn't have too great of speed slides. Oh boy, that's not good. Didn't have two, like, the, like, that overhill onto, like, the shelf, I'm gonna call it. Like, you jump onto the shelf and then you dive down into the, the, like, wall ride jump thing. Like, the speed slides I did on the shelf section and after that were not great. But on the, the final speed slide on actual road was very solid. And it showed. Okay, the double bounce that I do there is absolutely horrible. And to do it in a smooth way like the GPS did, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. But do it in my own way like this, definitely a possibility. Minus one speeds. This is definitely a track where looking at the speed difference is gonna be helpful. Oh god, I just like flew off, huh? Oh boy, we're at like, it's gonna be the last run. Or the last few runs, so. Unfortunately, we didn't get the improvement that I necessarily wanted, but uh, we did have fun. I did love this track, so. I will see you all tomorrow. We will attack whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all after this run. See if we can do anything here. Not like that. Probably it for me. Alright, later.